Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Waterwise and welcome back to From the Depths, building a complete ship start to finish. Once again, we're almost done. Last time uh, we stuck propulsion on this thing and so she can move at a steady pace of not very fast, uh, but we can fix that later. And we're currently steaming straight for land uh, because there's no lesson quite like an object lesson. If you're going to take a ship into the campaign, you must resign yourself to the fact that the From the Depths AI is dumb as hell and is very bad at avoiding uh, terrain. Uh, so you are almost certainly uh, going to end up with situations like this, where the thing uh, beaches itself and runs aground and just generally makes a complete dog's breakfast of the navigation process. So... Um, there are multiple ways to do this. Uh, there are things you can do with breadboard and lua or even just ACBs to get your craft to avoid land. Uh, but the simplest thing I've found is just stick rubber on your craft in the bits uh, that actually matter. So let's see if we can get unstuck here and reverse our way off uh, this land. It doesn't look like it. We might be too stuck. You know what that means. We need to do that. Hello? Well, one thing that would be really handy is that, um... Hello? Are you reversing it hard enough? No, you're not. You're too fat! You're too fat. Repair all. Pull all. Uh, get back onto the water. Where you belong. We. Alright, so now uh, that we've demonstrated that um, running onto land is a giant pain in the butt, um, what we're going to do is we're going to stick rubber on all the places that matter. So, uh, generally this is something I've started doing like from the very beginning I build a ship just because it saves time and means you don't have to uh, do things all over again. Uh, to start off with, the tip. Always rubber the tip for, for safety uh, because also the front of your craft is highly likely if it drives into another ship. Uh, this is what uh, it's going to hit first. So let's do just that. It's just replacing the very tip. You don't have to replace the blocks directly behind it. You can if you want to for peace of mind. Oh, hello. Hello. I've just found an error with... What the hell was that? Oh, it was invisible. Right. Okay, so now we go here. And now we go here. And now what we can do is... Uh, rethink our entire life because we need to, uh, hold on, let's do this, and let's do this, and also let's, oh, you piece of crap, I hate you, oh, I hate you so much, okay, good news is, is that we don't need to actually, uh, replace our entire, uh, pet, what the hell's happening here, go away, go away, go away, I do not like you, all the way over here as well. We can just take these off. And I'm going to teleport back to the front of my craft because uh, lining the keel with rubber is great for terrain proofing. And I just use wedges because wedges are great. And if I do this, is that going to ruin everything? Uh, yes, it is, it, it is actually going to ruin everything. I hate my life. I hate myself. I hate this boat. But you must persist. You must persist if you want to get better. This is the point of a build where you're like, oh no, oh no, oh no, I hate this so much. I hate, I wish I wasn't alive. That's just joking. I am quite happy to be alive. It's one of my favorite things. This is now not very well armored, uh, unfortunately, but that is okay. I'm going to go deal with this one over here while I still can. My instincts were correct. My instincts were correct. This is one of the reasons why planning ahead and from the depths is a good idea, and you should do that. I'm not doing that enough, and that makes me sad. I'm so sick and tired of this of this damn ship. I wish it was finished. You know how it's gonna get finished if I finish it. Somet sometimes um, building things in from the depths, um, you can of course give up on it any point you like. Uh, I don't recommend doing that because in pushing through, uh, you will probably learn things which are really handy. And like, 
it is entirely possible to turn a good design in I mean a bad design into a decent one if you are willing to take the time with it so now what are we gonna do now what we can do here is actually extend this rubber all the way over there and I'm just going to do this because I need a rubber tip right over here and now all these wedges all these delicious wedges is uh, less relevant uh, for us so we're going to just modify that slightly Okay, now we have rubber proofing on the bottom, but we also need rubber proofing on the side. So you see these uh, vertical beams over here. Um, quite handy to stick rubber here. So just try and try and think like a stupid ship, and which parts of you are going to hit the ground when you inevitably run into land, like an idiot. Okay, so now there's that, and now here and that could scrape on the ground so we could replace these with rubber bear in mind that rubber is kind of delicate and um, tends to be one of the first things to get shot off but um, at the same time uh, it can mean the difference between your ship being crippled by a land collision and well not being crippled by a land collision this is really ugly and I hate it I do not care for it one bit I'm going to change it watch me Watch me, Dad. My dad doesn't watch these videos. My dad has better things to do. I hope you don't have better things to do. If you realize you have better things to do than watch this, you might go do them. And that would be terrible. For me, and only for me, but yeah. Alright. Roger ho. We have rubber, 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 rubber. So that might be enough. I'm paranoid, though. So I'm going to this is further out than that I'm going to add just a streak of rubber on the top part here just so we can have some peace of mind and do 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 so we have some rubber there in a very tasteful sawtooth pattern. And what I also like to do these days is just have delicious wedges like so. Prefab them. This is a lot of rubber. I may or may not be slightly traumatized by slightly too many incidences when uh, my ships have run aground. Slightly too many incidences where my ships have done exactly that thing and made me cry and embarrassed me in front of the entire internet can you imagine can you imagine all right let's go here i might just by the way replace uh, a whole bunch of props on the back there uh, with those air props because as you can see uh, we get stuck and we can't get unstuck here, so that sucks. Also, this is quite a helpful little thing, the little sonar, what is this, this is the sonar decoy. The fact that that's there on a rubber stick already helps a lot. When in doubt, you can actually just do something like, you know, you can do something like this just on the uh, extremities of your craft and it should do the trick. Incidentally, like, also if like you've got a very fast moving ship, like a hydrofoil for instance, yeah, you absolutely need to rubber proof it because I've made an entire video on how to uh, cheese um, craft and neater um, who move too fast and aren't good at terrain avoidance. So let's also, by the way, do this. I realize this looks hideous, but bear with me. Bear with me. Rawr! Bear with me. That is the worst joke in the world. Uh, cue everyone, cue everyone unsubscribing. Actually, we don't need to do that. Uh, one fun thing you can do, particularly with these custom props, is that you can be a little bit lazy. And don't worry, we're going to prettify these later. So I'm just going to do this. Have floating rubber bits, like so. 
Is that likely to do anything? Nope, that'll do. Trust me, that'll look prettier later. So, now we've done all that. This stupid thing that doesn't float well. Uh, are we pointing towards land? We're going to be. We're going to engage our turning props. It also, now, I just remember it's very helpful to um, have turning props on both the front and end because this thing technically can't turn on the spot. It can just swing its nose around. Right, let's save here. And now, full steam ahead. Let's see if we take any damage. So, let's see. Avatar repair tentacles are disabled. We There she goes. She is now fortified with rubber. Hubba hubba. No hubba hubba if you don't have rubber rubber. Uh, let's see what happens. Alright, so she goes bonk. And no damage is popping up in the top right corner. Life is a beach and then you die. Another great thing about using rubber like this is that it also reduces the surface contact with the ground, which hopefully means uh, you can do a little bit better with um, getting yourself unstuck. So now you see we are 100% no damage taken whatsoever. So now let us see if we throw this thing into reverse. Hello. Get off land, please. Nope, it does not appear to be working. We appear to be very, very stuck. Let's see here. Yeah, this thing might just be too heavy to unbeach itself. However, it is useful in the sense that um, uh, this thing no longer takes terrain damage from uh, running in into land, which is quite nice. Also, I should mention as well. Let's just do that. Pull that out of play. You go over there. You have a max altitude of 55 meters. Whoops, we're going to have to fix that later. Alright, so one hilarious fun thing is also to test what happens when the thing runs into itself. So let's spawn another complete ship. Heavy inverted commas right there. And let's see here what happens if we go full steam ahead again. If we've done this correctly, and yes, the part of the problem with using a wedgie ships... <laughs> wedgie ships is that um, uh, there's all this space here uh, which is not covered in rubber and could potentially be a problem. But let's see what happens uh, when these two try and make, su uh, make sweet sugary love uh, instead of doing whatever they're supposed to be doing. Brace for impact! Bonk. Oh, what the hell. Okay, so we need more rubber. Alright, stop, 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 stop. Up and reverse, 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 and you repair. We. So I'm not sure what happened there. I'm going to guess. Aha! Uh -huh, that's what happened. It's one of these guys did it first. All right. So now we're going to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, right. So this is why testing stuff is a good idea. Uh, we need... What is that? That is a 4 meter offset left. So... <coughs> <coughs> right. So now what we do is this. Let's see. Let us see now. Let us see now if we get the same audible, audible results. Uh, I'm actually going to make this thing steer a little bit because we want to get ramming speed right in the middle. Full speed ahead! And go slightly the other way. Whoops, wrong button. Full speed ahead. And right in the middle thank you full speed ahead oh whoops nope now full speed ahead trying to manually ram things with something that's not actually designed to ram is a, actually a bit of a pain in the butt all right here we go screenshot 
<laughs> All right, let's see if that works. And whoop! Yay! No damage taken. I'm going to. <laughs> the game's much better these days about um, processing collision physics. By the way, we. All right now, let's see if we can drive right over the top of this one, and we're just gonna see what happens. Incidentally, ramming craft can be really good in From the Depths, provided you do them correctly. Uh, this technically is not a ramming craft because it's covered in rubber. Ah, see now! The fr the rubber on our friendly ship is uh, helping considerably. Roly poly. I could end the video right now, but um, I kind of don't want to because this is very funny. When in doubt, crash your ships into each other and see how they get along. Okay, so that does uh, do it for this video. I hope you can see why rubber uh, proofing your ships is actually a really, really good idea. It just, it can mean the difference between your ship being like horribly disabled and rubbing uh, the undersides of its turrets off on terrain or um, just making a mess of your own fleet um, if it drives badly. I actually do think that, um, okay, that's gonna get hooked. So, <laughs> so we have a ship, and we have an Australian ship. That's not funny. Apologies to my uh, to my close neighbors over in Australia. Please don't swim over the Tasman Sea and beat me up. Alrighty, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths, building a complete ship start to finish. Screenshot. Farewell.